Lecture 4 of Single Factor Experiment. In this lecture, we shall be dealing with the test after experimentation. Duncan's Multiple Range Test. When an investigator cannot construct orthogonal contrast before experimentation, he may wish to test all possible pairs of means after experimentation. There are several tests widely used, but our interest here is on Duncan's multiple range test. The procedure is as follows. Step 1. Perform ANOVA on the data. Step 2. Arrange the care treatment means in order of magnitudes. That is, y bar dot j for j equals to 1 to k. We assume they are already in order of magnitudes. Step 3. Obtain the standard error of mean for each treatment. Using the formula, standard error of mean of treatment j is equal to the square root of mean square for error all over nj, where nj is the number of observations under treatment j for j running from 1 to k. Step 4. From the Duncan's table of significant range, List k minus 1 ranges denoted by R alpha in bracket PV for P running from 2 to K using alpha level and error degrees of freedom V. That's the V you have here is the error degrees of freedom. Step 5. Obtain k minus 1 list significant ranges using the following formula LSRP is equal to R alpha into PV times the standard error of mean of treatment P for P running from 2 to K. Step 6. Compare the observed ranges with the least significant ranges as follows. Here in this table, the first column is for observed range, while the second column is for the least significant range. First, you find the range between the largest, that is y bar dot k, and the lowest, y bar dot 1. We compare that difference with the least significant range for p equals to k. We find the range between the largest mean and the next lowest, and we compare that one with the least significant range for p equals to k minus 1. We we'll continue like that until we find the range for every pair of the treatment means. In particular, let us illustrate this for four treatment. The comparison is as follows. Here we have a column for the observed range, and this is the column for the least significant range. First, the range between treatment 4 and treatment 1. We compare that one with the least significant range for P equals to 4. The range between treatment 4 and treatment 2. We compare that one with the least significant range for P equals to 3. The range between treatment 4 and treatment 3. We compare that one with the least significant range for P equals to 2. Next, we now find the range between treatment 3 and treatment 1. 
we compare that one with the least regard range for p equals to 3. We compare, we find the range between treatment 3 and treatment 2. Compare that one with the least regard range for p equals to 2. Finally, we now find the range between the mean of treatment 2 and the mean of treatment 1. And that one we compare with the least regard range for p equals to 2. Please note here we are assuming that the treatment 1, 2, 3, and 4 are already in order of magnitude. Conclusion If an observed range is greater than the corresponding least significant range, then we conclude that the pair of means in questions are significantly different. Warning No difference between a pair of means is considered significant if the two means involved fall between two other means that do not differ significantly. Example 1 the response time in milliseconds was determined for three types of circuit used in an automatic value shut-off mechanism. The results were, as shown in this table, here are the circuit type representing the treatment T1, T2, and T3, and these are the response time. 9, 12, 10, and so on. Use Duncan's multiple range test to compare pairs of treatment means using alpha equals to 0 0.05. Solution The Andover table for the test, as obtained previously, is given below. Sources of variation between treatment error and total. Degrees of freedom for treatment is 2, for error is 12, and total is 14. Sum of squares for treatment is 543.6, for error is 202.8, and for total is 746.4. The mean square for treatment is 271.8, for error is 16.9. Then the F which is a 271.8 divided by 16.9 is 16.1. The treatment means are as follows. Let us use X to represent the original treatment means. That is X1, X bar dot 1 is equal to 10.8. X bar dot 2 is 22.2. .2 and x bar dot 3 is 8.4. Now let us rearrange this in order of magnitude as follows. y bar dot 1 which is the lowest is 8.4 and this corresponds to the treatment mean 3 that's for treatment 3 mean y bar dot 2 the next lowest is 10.8 corresponding to treatment 1 mean and the next, which is the largest, is y bar dot 3, which is 22.2, .2, and this corresponds to treatment 2 mean. Computing the standard error of each treatment mean, we have standard error of mean of treatment j, which is given by the formula square root of mean square for error all over nj. Here, there are equal number of observations under each treatment. That is NJ equals to 5. And from our ANOVA table, mean square for error we, re we recall is 16.9. So the standard error of mean for each treatment is the square root of 16.9 all over 5. And that will give us 1.83. We then set up this table. P ranges from 2 to 3. There are only 3 treatments, so P will range from 2 to 3. From the Duncan's multiple range table, using alpha equals to 0 0.05, we have 
r0.05 p the degree of freedom for error is 12 so for p equals to 2 from that table we have 3.08 for p equals to 3 from the table we have 3.23 now to obtain the least significant range we have to multiply the range is obtained from the Duncan multiple table by the standard error of mean. So for p equals to 2, we multiply 3.08 by 1.83 to obtain 5.64. For p equals to 3, we multiply 3.23 by 1.83 to obtain 5.91. We now do the following comparison. The observed range y bar dot 3 minus y bar dot 1 is 13.8 and we are comparing this with the least significant range for p equals to 3 so s l s r 3 is equal to 5.91 now the range between y bar dot 3 and y bar dot 2 is 11.4 and we are comparing this with least significant range for p equals to 2 which is 5.64 then finally the range between y bar dot 2 and y bar dot 1 is 2.4 and we are comparing this with the least significant range for p equals to 2 which is equal to 5.64 conclusion treatment 2 and 3 means differ significantly at 5% level since the observed range between these two treatment means is greater than the least significant range also treatment 1 and 2 means differ significantly at 5% level since the observed range between the two means is also greater than the least significant range but treatment 1 and 3 means do not differ significantly at 5% level since the observed range is less than the least significant range.